and welcome back to part seven even though i i got the numbers wrong in last episode last part uh whatever anyways welcome back to part seven of murder on eridanos where we left off we had finally gotten our gatling gun which is pretty awesome we also kept the employee alive uh what was her name taken Sally? in the scenery i am taken in the scenery this lovely scenery that it is uh, I don't remember her name. The intern. We managed to save the intern's job, I guess, kind of. She's under probation. That's better than getting kicked to the curb because I think that almost indefinitely means death. But now we're exploring the horrible employee quarters, if you can call it that. It's more like the dungeon of death. There's even dead employees. There's dead sprats everywhere. This is horrible. Absolutely deplorable conditions for these employees, if you can even call them that. Indenturement? I don't know. This is a step away from slavery, if that. It's just horrible. Anyways, let's take a look at our journal. We are now exploring the strange disappearance of a watchman. Uh, Amelia Stillwell escorted Evan to room A2 in the lower level and the, of the Grand Colonial Hotel to sleep off whatever was affecting him. So, I probably walked right over his body, but I don't know. Let's see. Yep, probably did. No, A2. We started out in B and found all kinds of horrible things already, so let's move forward. We already searched C. There's the waterbed. That's what we'll call this from here on out. It's the waterbed. So we went B, then we went C, now we're going A. Little guy. Let's start this way. I hear a phonogram in there. Can we get through this way? Why, yes, I will take those things. Here I am robbing these people again. Wow, I'm horrible. Okay. Well, I can hear a thing a doom in there. There's where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I know. <gasps> oh, it's only a replica. Thus the orange tips. Dang, I really want the needler. You gotta give me that gun. Okay. I'll go do what you ask me to. Shampoo bottles. What's this? The spectacular spectacular and thrilling and great adventures of Elaine Norville Allen Elaine uh, Norville and the Halcyon Helen chapter 45 137 oh boy is this Norville's stuff and because the ever resolute Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville had brought his automatic spacer's choice auto pistol and now with added explosive ammo which he held in his big muscular hands the gigantic horde of rapid canids was all dead. I see. Halcyon Helen looking very beautiful as always with her beautiful eyes and lips and nice shoes. She quickly grabbed Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville's hand. Oh, thank you. You're such... You Thank you so... Oh, thank you so much, Elaine. Elaine? El Elaine? Uh, she sighed slowly, batting her beautiful eyes at him also slowly. You are the best partner I have ever teamed up with. You're so big and strong and good at shooting. I wish I had you with me from day one. Then maybe I would not have to have so many dead sidekicks. <laughs> I mean, every episode she seems to have a dead sidekick, right? Uh, <laughs> It ain't no big deal, Purpleberry Cakes. Oh. <laughs> get it together, get it together. Chuckled Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville as he took a puff from his cigarette and blew the smoke at the barrel of his Spacer's Choice auto pistol at the same time. Interestingly enough, I am just a wandering assassin. Being good at shooting stuff is only because I am part of my job. Huh. Yes, you are. And you are so handsome, sighed the beautiful Helen. Thank you, chuckled Lord Bell Bell Hop Bellhop Elaine Norville. Just then they stared. Thank you, chuckled Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville. Just then they started to go for a kiss. 
But wait, just as romance was about to happen, suddenly a hand had grabbed Elaine's leg. Helen screams, it's, it is me, the dissident lord. I am here to get you and take your bits and give them to everyone else for free, screams the dissident lord as a villain began, as the villain began to crawl out of the dirt. His zombie arm was also crawling to the surface behind him as well. I guess there's only one thing to do, sneered the heroic Lord Bellhop, as he took a big hammersmith flamethrower out of his back pocket uh, that he had been keeping secret for just this occasion. Time to make some dissident steaks. Well, that is fantastic. I'm going to have to talk to Norville about that. Okay, well, I don't think it's possible at all that he could have killed her unless... Uh, Unless he didn't want her to, to be anyone else's. I don't know. Kind of. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, so we need the card. What's the card in here? We need the A2 key card. Oh! Wow! Uh... Work IDs of Helen's sidekicks. What? This pile of cartridges contains IDs of Halcyon Helen sidekicks who were killed, mortally wounded, mulched, melted, torn into ribbons, dis decapitated, or turned into mechanicals in the line of duty, or otherwise identified post-mortem. Typhon Tim, Olympus Opus, uh, Terra 2 Terry, Sparks the Wonder, Wonder Canid, Burbage 1900-1999, Bolt Vunderhuge, Vanter huge. Eridanos Eve. Inconsequential groundbreaker maintenance worker number 13B9. Caleb Bison. The broker with four broken limbs. Hailfax. The entire 26th season of the Tilebackers. Uh, ID blackened beyond inval individual recognition. Uh, Stakeout Steve. Dirk Tenderly. Okay, he might have a serious problem. So where do we find the A2 key card then? Hmm. Let's keep looking, shall we? Hmm. Of course the hotel don't give their workers a decent living. Why would they? Yeah. Be you know, decent. Yep. Not a thing they know how to do. Hmm. Where am I gonna find this key card? We've already been through all these. Hmm. Wow. Wait, this... Wow, really? Okay, so the bathroom has a window with a dead bellhop in it. <sighs> Let's see. Well, I guess I'll have to... Revise my work here and find a key card. Okay, well, I don't know where that key card is, so I'm just gonna keep looking around till I stumble into something that moves me forward. Um, so let's go this way. Hello. Looking at your stuff? What a cart would do you any good on stairs, I don't know. Bunch of nanners. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Whoa. Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup, approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. You know, the best way to get gr rid of grease on a, on a stovetop is just to turn the stove on. You sure that's a good idea? Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 0.01%. Seems like this workplace is a hazard. Uh, how hasn't Slug caught this? Searching Slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Not surprising. But is this normal? 
Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. I'm going to conclude the examination. All right. Oh, it's suddenly clean. Oh, it's not clean. Oh, it's clean. Oh, it's not clean. I mean, I did that backwards. It's clean. Oh, it's not clean. It's clean. Oh, it's not clean. Interesting. Hello. Terribly sorry, but I can't chat just now. Someone on the second VIP level just ordered 15 canid meat pies, and if I don't get to it now, it'll be my head. Oh my. I'm an inspector. I've got some questions to ask you about Halcyon Helen's murder. I understand your devotion to your job. Really, I do. And I hope you'll understand mine. Things might change if you had something very particular to talk to me about, but I'm afraid I'm just too busy to talk right now. I'd be delighted to chat with you later. Okay. Ah! I'm so behind. I'm sorry, I still can't talk idly right now. Come back if you have something very important you need to discuss. Okie dokie then. I guess I'm not important enough. And here we are at the... Oh. Is this that locked door? Hmm. We need to find... Amelia? What's this? Broken elevator. Yep, we read that. That's horrible. Alright, let's go back down. This way. Man, I can't believe I haven't gotten that uh, key card yet. Ah, oh, and this is Sullivan. Good work, Sullivan. Good work. So I think we need to find Amelia. Because I don't have the card. Uh, I'm going to take a look at it one more time with the amplifier. Real slow like. See if I can get it to analyze. Oh! Inspector, I've detected a structural anomaly within a 0.8 meter radius of this locked door. Uh, can you narrow it down for me? This floor panel is 0.3 millimeters shorter than regulation length. Suggesting unauthorized modification. I'll bear that in mind. What? The floor? Oh, the whole thing! Whoa! Underneath the loose floor panel is a slightly dirty key card for room A2! Oh! Nice! Uh, well, let's... Just in case, let's get our pile driver here. Well, I don't see Ethan. Oh, I see Ethan. Evan, not Ethan. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis confirms this is Evan O'Connell. Analysis also confirms he is dead. No kidding. The man had a giant slug crawling on him. Her additional study of this body's skeletal structure, the cause of death was head trauma. Head trauma? Further analysis indicates Evan's fatal injuries were sustained from blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, and his head collided with the ground. Let's check him to see if he was drunk. Respiratory analysis concludes Evan was not intoxicated at time of death. Check evidence for foul play. There are traces of blood on Evan's hands, Inspector. Interesting. Sounds like Evan might have been doing a bit of brawling. Analysis concludes this blood is human, type A. Medical records indicate Evan O'Connell's blood is type O. This butt sausage is stealing people's blood? It is highly likely the blood is the result of an altercation. Uh... Well, I think maybe we need to talk to Miss Stillwell. If you wish to question Amelia Stillwell, Slug's scheduling records indicate that she is presently on duty at the pilot house checkpoint. Oh, good. We need to go back there so we can actually go in the room. Okay, so uh, I guess there was supposed to be a, a, a slug on him. But 
we may have killed it in a different room. Because I don't see a giant slug on him now. Okay. Well, that I'm glad I didn't just give up and walk away. Um, ooh. Let's go to the pilot house. Let's all go to the pilot house. Let's all go. Okay, I'll stop. Sorry. Oh, right. Have we searched this? Yes. Okay. Hello. Bruiser. We don't toss troublemakers out of airlock. We just throw them over the edge. Well, I, yeah, I mean, there's no airlock here, so that makes sense. What a silly thing to say. Woo! Let's go this way. Oh, those guys look like uh, troublemakers. <laughs> Guys, this thing is real fun. Uh, I'll give it to Alex in a bit. Uh, or Alex, Felix. I'll give it to Felix in a bit. I promise. I just gotta enjoy it for a bit longer. Well, I got no help from you, Bruiser. Amelia. Non slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you with something? Maybe. I need to ask you some questions regarding your co-worker, Evan O'Connell. Sure. He in trouble or something? That depends. Can you be in trouble if you're not alive anymore? Is this a joke? You're telling me Evan's dead and that's your concern? What is wrong with you? Uh, sorry, I've seen a lot of bodies in my line of work. It, it really gets to me. Well, I can understand that. I guess. Can, uh, can I ask what happened? Okay, drop the act. You took him to A2. You know dang well what happened. I know he got drunk on the job, and I took him back to the hotel to sleep it off. Left him on one of the beds in A2. He seemed fine. Amelia, I know something bad happened to you in A2. I want to help. You won't believe me if I tell you. I found giant slugs on Evan's body, apparently. This case is already unbelievable. You what? Well, shit. Maybe you will believe me. I walked Evan to A2, like I said. And then, out of nowhere, he just came at me. One minute, he's laughing and yelling about sharing his joy. And the next, he's choking the life out of me. Grinned the whole time he was trying to kill me, too. How did you get away? Dumb luck, I guess. I got a good hit in, threw him off, and ran like hell. If I'd known the fault killed him, I... Blah. I don't know. I should have told someone. I got a few more questions. What do you want to know? Why didn't you tell anyone Evan attacked you? Because Evan would never attack anyone. I barely believe he attacked me, and I was there. Guess it shook me up pretty good. Evan's always been a total sweetheart. I don't get it. I found slugs on Evan's body. Big ones. Any idea what that's about? I can't help you there. If Evan was a victim in all this, we owe it to him to find out what happened. Have you been to Purpleberry Orchards, Inspector? Awfully nice out there. You should visit. What are you... Oh! Well, think it over. You said Evan was drunk, but I didn't find any alcohol in his system. Law, this is making less and less sense. I didn't actually see him drink, if that's what you're asking. Just seemed like the logical explanation, considering how weird he was acting. You say weird. Let me guess. Big smile, way too happy, barely coherent. Wow. You're pretty good at this inspector thing. Okay. How are you holding up, though? I don't know. The whole thing shook me up something fierce. But I'm still here. I'm upset. Angry at Evan. Sad about him being... You know... Scared folks won't believe me. I'm not much for math, so I couldn't tell you how that averages out. But thanks for asking. That's everything I needed to know. So, what happens now, Inspector? 
I'm not here to get you in trouble. I just want to untangle this web. Fair enough. I just wish I could understand why he did what he did. Evan is... He was my friend. Or I thought he was. I don't know. I hope you're able to make more sense of this than I can, Inspector. Okie doke. Well, that puts a pin in that. We need to talk to Lily. Thunderclap. Not for quiet assassinations. <laughs> Consider wearing earplugs. Oh, I gotta try that out. Oh, we also got concierge livery. Three, third class? Did we already have this? I don't know. I don't think so. This is nice. Okay. Cool. So, let's look at our questy quest. Oh, I apparently have nowhere to go on the map. Okay, here we go. So we need to go over... Ah, I figured it out. Good old ship. The unreliable. I wonder how Ada's doing without me. This place is crazy, man. Crazy. Activate the rainbow? Is that what it said? Here we are. Hey, Lily. Inspector, you find my missing man? I found O'Connell. He's dead. Shit. That's fucking inconvenient. What happened? He attacked Amelia Stillwell, who unintentionally killed him in self-defense. No shit. I, I gotta tell you, Evan's never been written up for so much as an impolite look. He attacked her? You sure? I'm satisfied she's telling the truth. Damn. Okay. Uh, what happened was tragic, but not a crime. Thanks for looking into this. You saved me a lot of legwork. Law. You want to hear what's really tragic? We were short-staffed already. Now I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. A new day, a new pain in my ass. Thanks again for all your help, but I'm a little busy at the moment. Okay. Well, I kind of wanted to ask her about the slugs, but... Oh well. Okay, what's next? That's another one down. Now we need to search the conservatory. Where is that? Oh, it's back there. Poop. Let's go. Not doing this out of order or anything. Carter Reynolds. Oh, we get to go back to that lovely fellow. Chap. That lovely chap. Who definitely sounds like he killed his wife. Or was that just me? Because that's what it sounded like. Makes me want to kill him. Hey, buddy. Hello again, youngster. You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp ketos can smell weakness. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Bleeding, hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Uh, yeah. I found this bottle at the heart of the puzzle hedges. Says it's yours? Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label your things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. <laughs> I found it real close to where I should have found the Rizzo's original. Strange, huh? I will admit, I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. What do you want with the original? I didn't want it for anything. I needed to keep it safe. Rizzo's almost never makes mistakes, but offering a classified original product to the public for free? Any upstart might grab it and use it to make Rizzo's look bad, or, or steal it to make a new product offshoot, or, law forbid, start a lawsuit of some kind. Better I hold on to it. 
don't you think the mines and killer mechanicals were a bit of a overreaction? The what now? I didn't order any mines or machines. I just paid Slug to encourage people not to enter the puzzle hedges. Ah. Uh. Figured they just dress somebody up like a primal and chase maze goers. Like we did after the Spectrum Black unveiling a decade back. Or maybe that was a real primal. I forget. Okay. You taking the original makes it seem like Rizzo's lied about a prize, which is fraud. Damnation. Hadn't thought of that. Isn't my having it better than any random guest making off with it? I guess not, if it'll cause the company more trouble. Here's the original. Don't do anything with it that I wouldn't do. Oh, uh, well, all right. We got the original. Let's take a look at it. Is it under aid? No. Uh, quest? Yeah, that way I can't accidentally drink it. Rizzo Spectrum Original. This is a bottle of Spectrum Original. The first Rizzo Spectrum ever made. It is rather notably arom achromatic. Achromatic? Achromatic? Colorless, but not tasteless. Spectrum Original. Okay, well we have that now. So now what? Return the formula. Okay, who do we who would he give it up to then? Hmm. Well, this is gonna require a save and trial. This is great. This this part right here. Purple berry puzzle hedges. Lovely. So he's the lawyer. Um and Selena is the collector. Hmm. Save a doodle do. Let's start with Selena. Hi there, somebody I don't know. Have you stopped to smell the purple berry flowers of late? Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. I have the Spectrum original. Here you go. Let me have a look. It's a little scratched on the neck, and the label's a bit smudged. Smells funny, but I think it is genuine, yes. This will look real good in my archives. Here's your pay. I'll be in touch if there's ever another time when I need to keep a corporation honest. And if anyone ever asks, we never met. Okay, and as if I didn't save and already find out the conclusion with her, let's try the lawyer. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. I don't, but I have the original. Here you go. Ah, finally. Where have you been all my life, my darling? You and I will make quite a team, won't we? Your pay, good freelancer. I shall win this case in your honor. So if we go back and talk to Selena... The Spectrum original appears to have vanished, as it shall from the history books. An unfortunate waste, but at least it won't be missed, like everything in this colony. I've decided as if I already knew the outcome. I think I like Selena. All right, well, let's go talk to the lawyer and let him know. Oh, it seems the prize I was after has mysteriously vanished. Of course, I am perfectly composed and not fucking furious about the utter waste of time and money. <laughs> He's only been a junior lawyer for 20 years. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's the right decision or if there is a right decision because um, she just put it in her archives and I don't know what he was going to do with it. I didn't pay attention. I already forgot. Let's move on. Uh, let's see. Track down profit of profitability. Report to Ludovico. Let's do that. Huh? I just, I don't know. Ah, let's take a load off. Let's also swap out uh, who we're running with. How you guys doing? You doing good? Um, let's see. Uh, we'll just go right back into it. Hello, elevator. Hello there, my inordinately. Oh, <laughs> you're the one who visited me. Hello again. Thanks so much for brightening my day. What authorized floor can I bring you to? 
the lobby, please. To the lobby we go. And let's take... Ah, oh, it's so difficult. Let's take Neoka. Okay. I don't even know if that's the way I was supposed to... Ooh, Norville, perfect. Let me put this away. Hey, Norville. Norville. Finally checked in, I see. I hope you're fond of the penthouse. It's pretty much the best seat in the whole hotel. You shouldn't want for any amenity you might find elsewhere. Should act as a better headquarters for the investigation than any space dust covered Whoa. ship. Whoa! That and you ain't got room service on a ship. You ever need anything, come find me. Even if you don't, you can still swing by. I'm always happy to chat. Well, well, well. If it isn't Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville himself. What? Oh, Gloss, you didn't find my story, did you? Sticks alive, that's embarrassing as all hell. <laughs> I guess I should have hit it better. Uh, well, since there's no way to put the leather boa back in the skinning machine, I might as well ask. Wow. What did you think? Uh, the leather boa back in the skinning machine? What? What? What is that? Oh, that's horrible. <sighs> it was extremely entertaining. I enjoyed reading it. And my old man said I never amount to anything. Move over, board announcement writer 256. Norville's coming for your job. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Without a doubt. Uh, from what I've heard, your affection for Helen is somewhat extreme. I suppose you could call it that, but that don't mean I poked around her room or nothing while she was uh. out. That'd be a huge breach of hotel policy. Uh huh. Besides, knowing Helen's athletic acumen, anyone who tried probably would have been found, beaten senseless, then hurled into the hallway, followed by the contents of a garbage bin. Probably, that is, it'd probably happen, but it didn't. Uh, I'm just theorizing. Uh-huh. Did you know the victim? Oh, of course. That is, uh, maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans even started an association of like-minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terra on Monarch reunion episode. Well, there are other celebrities, right? Sorry, friend, but I guess you don't get it. Helen was special, had a certain quality about her, like she would really go out and fight injustice. You look at Woolrich and... No disrespect to the man, but you just don't get the same feeling. He reminds me more of a vacuum suit without nobody in it. Uh, don't tell him I said it. <laughs> I'll tell him I said it myself. How's that? I'm curious about you. How do you even get to be a bellhop? Notice my battle-hardened physique, have uh, you? yeah. Used to be in a mighty mean line of work. Been shot at 35 times. That is, um... I've been near people who were shot at 35 uh -huh. times. But to be honest, I never really enjoyed it, you know. It's one thing to tightrope walk between life and death every day, but for just a handful of bits? Nah. When this position came up, I jumped on it and made a lateral move from sublight to slug. I ain't ever looked back. I thought slug and sublight didn't engage much. How did you move from one to the other? Hmm, well, slug is something like an offshoot of sublight. It ain't too difficult to pivot from one part of the same company to another. Disconnects or no. That said, my departure may have been somewhat hasty. Oh, did something bad had to make tracks, eh? I know the feeling. I mean, yes, but I still earned sublight a hell of a lot of bits. Basically, I singled out a ship to salvage that I thought had been out for use for years. As it turns out, it belonged to a wealthy Byzantine who used it only to vacation. As it so happened, I still don't think she tried to use it, too satisfied with the luxuries of Byzantium. Still, I figured it was a good time to turn tail, in case that ever changed. Uh, not a bad choice, not a bad choice. Uh, got any good stories? I'm sure you've seen a lot of people coming and going. Stories, huh? Actually, I think I got a couple now that you mention it. Execs from a post corpse used to visit the hotel simultaneously. After assassination number 40, we enacted a rule. 
No exact visitation without signing a non-aggression contract. <laughs> After assassination number 40. So 40 is the limit, guys. 40. Uh, how different is it working with Slug from working with Sublight? Well, Slug is more trustworthy for one thing, where Sublight is all about back alleys and backstabbing. Slug can be trusted not to salvage your ship when you turn your head. I mean, I, I know Lilia, and that is definitely a thing to worry about with her. So, uh, mind if I ask a few questions about the crime scene? Please do. Oh, I already did. Never mind. Thanks, Norville. Great guy. Black hole Bertie hasn't been seen. Yeah, I haven't found Bert hole, Bert, Bertie, Bertie's hole. I haven't found Bertie's hole yet. So we should probably do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was supposed to call him from my room. Oh, boy. Aha! Always so nice to hear you, Inspector. I'll get you to your floor on the double. Bring me to the penthouse, sweet Moira. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Uh, I mean, not Moira. Ah, yeah, I was supposed to use this thing. Yeah, whatever. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspkitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. And more than a few lives? Doesn't that bother you? The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? Reaching for a cigarette. The plot thickens, Administrator. You have my attention. Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. She was in trouble when I found her. The other workers had turned violent. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. Let's not leap to conclusions. I don't know who's behind her death. I wish you'd give me a little more information, Inspector. Leora was a friend. But I promised to leave this investigation in your hands, and so I shall. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Helen insisted on touring with Rizzo's RR and DD lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. And then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. What were you going to show her during the tour? A uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. Mm. She spent a little time at the orchards. I found evidence she was at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? Someone stole data from one of your terminals in research and development. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. This happened just before the Waspskeeto attack. Someone's trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? I don't doubt for a second you've never enjoyed a game, Ludovico. Uh, I'll let you know if I find anything else. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. All right. That guy's a bum. He's a, just a bum. Okay, so. Joinal, Prince of Tossball. Now we need to find Birdie. That's right. We were kind of at a, uh, a standpoint. Uh, the stall? Uh, we couldn't go over there. Okay, and then the man who chafed. 
speak to <laughs> speak speak to Doctor Goodnight to discover what she may have learned from Helen's autopsy. I do want to try that first. So let's go see her. Where is that at, anyways? Uh, region. Okay, that's gonna be in the hotel, I think. Let's go. Uh, oh, there's uh no sounds. Uh, okay, let's go to the lobby, please. To the lobby we go. And we're gonna take Felix and Nioka. Okay. Good, it's not telling me to go there. So we need to go, oh, up here. Is that where the autopsy is? It's just upstairs? Let's stop brandishing our weapon in the hotel. At least for now. Ah! Oh, it's you again. I gotta stop opening bathroom doors. Medical center, right here in the hotel. All right. Ooh, we got a terminal. Let's read this first. Welcome, Dr. Winfred Goodnight. This is an automated reminder to make sure you clean the blood off of your instruments. Wow. Autopsy report. Bellamy Ruth. Here we are. Bellamy Ruth. Cause of death. Plasma damage to upper vertebrae. Uh, occipital uh, bone. Cerebral, cerebellum. Jeez. An autopsy report on Ruth Bellamy, former, formerly Halcyon Helen. Could this be the apex of my profession? Bellamy's... <laughs> Bellamy's corpse shows evidence of several possible causes of death, but I determined the killing blow was plasma damage to her upper vertebrae. Is that the back of her neck? Uh, occipital bone and cerebellum. Death was instantaneous and painless. Well, that's a plus. Frankly, her death may have come as a relief. She was unwell prior to the attack. Oh. High concentration of poisonous compounds in her stomach lining, ingested during her last meal. Not lethal, but uncomfortable to be extreme. In the extreme, Spencer Woolrich complained of similar, similar, similar stomach ailments. Is this a problem common to professional actors? Oh boy, patient logs. Uh, Bosch Hartford. Another day, another case that bores me to drink. Uh, an ill-fated Byzantine who of the hour. Oh. The ill-fated Byzantine of the hour thought it prudent to gorge himself on enough purpleberry wine to incapacitate a primal. He then attempted to reach the lobby by stairs, rather than elevator, and fell down six flights. Auto-mechanical auto servants broke his fall. <laughs> oh, that's not great. He broke their servo mechanisms and will be billed accordingly. Fractures in left clavicle, uh, right femur, Periatal bone? Periatal bone? Uh, ribs. More injuries than brain cells. I see. I recommended replacing purpleberry wine with Spectrum Violet uh, in order to appease Rizzo's company policy, of course. Uh, Nina Han. Finally, something a little different from the norm. Miss, Ms. Han came in earlier, escorted by her sister. Apparently not long after arriving on Eridano, the two of them went on a trip through the Purpleberry Orchards. Oh no. Ms. Han's sister visited the Purple he uh, Puzzle Hedges, but quickly became lost. When she eventually made her way out, Ms. Han was nowhere to be found. The sister claims that Ms. Han returned to, the ho to their hotel room several hours later, but has been unusual ever since. Her sister described the patient as formerly sullen, morose, uh, phlegmatic, 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 uh, and given the melancholy, colia, uh, her demeanor has transformed into a unpleasant degree of levity and shocking enthusiasm towards everything. Oh, she's got a slug. I suggested vast quantities of cheap alcohol. Is there any cheap alcohol here? Okay. Well, let's talk to Goodnight. Oh, discrepancy amplifier replacements? What? These are replacement models of the discrepancy amplifier fitted with backups of its logic module. A label reads, in case of careless inspector. <laughs> uh, could that be we tipped her off that we're not all that great at taking care of things? Okay. Well, let's talk to Goodnight. There's Halcyon. Why are her eyes open? Could you not close her eyes? Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Yep, I was nosy. I read your report on the terminal. 
You know, that is a remarkably brazen invasion of privacy. I feel a strange combination of annoyed and flattered. Would you humor me? I really was looking forward to delivering my autopsy report. It's one of the perks of my profession. All right, go ahead. Much appreciated, Inspector. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Are you sure it isn't just the hotel food? I've seen some crap around here. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no. I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Whoa, you did what? I did science. You know, my profession. Uh, it sounds like you threw up your food and then tested it. Uh, anyways, someone was obviously trying to poison Helen. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. Hmm. I mean... Spencer was sick too, huh? I should go speak with Spencer. Conversations with Mr. Woolrich tend to spontaneously transform into monologues. Uh -huh. You'll find him on the VIP guest floor. I'd best return to work, Inspector. Autopsies always whet my appetite, and all this talk of food is distracting me. Wow. I'll be back, I guess. All right. Halcyon, Helen, it, you, it's nice to meet you again. Um, well, all right. So we've got some poisoning in the food. Hmm. What's the easiest way down? Can we get to the elevator from here now? Thanks. I'd like to visit the VIP guest floor. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. <laughs> of course you do. Oh, Spencer, are you still alive? Here we go. Into your waiting room. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a sisty pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Of course you might. I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Mm, and you sure it wasn't like Maltitol or Erythritol? Anyways, can you think of anyone other than the Chef who would want to harm you? None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally and with the minimum level of respect. That they deserve. Of course. Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Yeah, publicity is publicity. According to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Helen wasn't killed by the poison, Woolrich. Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. <laughs> that's that's all I needed to know. Very well, then. I'll be off. Ugh. It's exhausting talking to him. Okay, what do we got here? Chef Anwa. Let's go there. Hiya! Aha! Always so nice to hear you, 
you, Inspector. I'll get you to your floor on the double. To the lobby, please. To the lobby we go. Yay, the lobby. Woo. Now to that secret door hole. Right? Because this was the locked one, and now it's not locked no more. Hey, we're back with important stuff. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Aw, no smoke, Sprat. What about the purpleberry glazed canid flank steaks? I... Weren't you listening? We're reserved solid for the next month. I'm sorry, but you'll really need to order in advance. I understand. Just get me some woolly cheese curds with fried nanners, and I'll stop asking. I is this some kind of a joke? We're not able to take on new orders at this time. I told you. Really? Not even braised cysty ribs on a bed of mock apple leaves? No, no, we don't. W why are you doing this? Please stop. Got any ketchup? Here, just take it. Just take it and don't ask me for anything ever again. Thanks. Uh, why are we talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that just occurred? Crime or no crime, I must keep my head on my work. One does not simply become the head chef in all of Eridanos by fretting over irrelevant happenings. I'm here to investigate Halcyon Helen's murder, and I've got a few questions to ask you. Since when is a murder irrelevant? It happened 15 feet away from your kitchen. Well, it didn't happen in my kitchen. Who exactly are you anyhow? What is it you want? Frankly, I don't even know why I'm here. Everyone keeps telling me I'm an inspector. Oh, you're the inspector they told me would be coming by. Now I feel like a buffoon. Yes, uh, you can ask me what you like. Though, I don't know how much help a chef can be. Uh, did you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Well, Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh, my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Your alibi is a little thin here. Why should I believe anything that you're saying? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keene has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Mm. Why were you being so evasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? I know what you did to all those teacup canids. Talk, if you want to keep it between us. It was just some light smuggling. Light! Is that really so wrong? All right, maybe it is. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Hmm, I see. Uh, any idea where I might f be able to find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Oh boy. Our guests can be rather... particular. Of course they can. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Okay, and what was Spencer Woolrich doing around the kitchen? 
Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Mm. That's all I wanted to ask about. I guess we'll see if you're telling the truth or not. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Don't leave town, Chef Anwar. And with that, that's all the time we have in this video. What did you guys think? Do you think we are getting closer to finding the killer, or am I just wandering around in circles aimlessly, forgetting what I'm doing? Definitely not that. That doesn't happen all the time or anything. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see the rest of this series and the other series I have on this channel, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you know when I come out with new content. And with that, guys, I will see you in part eight. Eight. It's probably eight. I don't know. I'm bad at this. Uh, we'll see you guys there. Ooh.